I'm 55 years old and I love a challenge. My latest challenge was a 100 kilometer race. Hi everyone, I'm Caroline Labouchere and today I'm gonna to talk to you about health and fitness. I have always been into fitness. I've always been into keeping trim and I think that's what has motivated me most of all. So I have always, as I said, I've always kept fit and married somebody who was also incredibly fit. And so our children are also very fit now. And we run together, we challenge ourselves, and that's what motivates me most of all. It is setting myself a challenge, being a fast 10 kilometer race or um, a distance race. I did my first ultra marathon at uh, the beginning of this year in Cape Town, the two oceans, that was 56 kilometers. It was the best feeling to be running with people that weren't in a rush. I think that was the nicest thing. It was, um, we were walking and running, just trying to do the best that we could to get through it. It rained a bit, everybody was happy. It was a fabulous experience. I finished really happy, finished really strong and thought, right, what am I gonna do next? And immediately thought, the 100 kilometer race to the stones in England this July. It was the worst experience, the most horrendous race I have ever done. It took 16 and three quarter hours and it was not fun, was it Moose? It was, it, I don't even know how to express it. I was cold, I was miserable. I was holding hands with David who did it with me I would have finished it without him, and I know he would have finished it without me, but we were able to talk to each other and um, make up stories and just keep our heads in that right space. And he's coming in now just to tell, are you going to tell us how miserable you were? Well, the, the 100k. It was a, we had a no whinging policy, which is brilliant, yeah, so we, we weren't did. allowed to we complain. Did. So no. no matter what happened, there was, every time you fell over a rut or jarred your back or felt rotten, you couldn't complain. You just no. had to be positive. We, we, were, we were allowed to grunt and groan a little bit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> off, off camera noises, lots of, oh, oh that hurts. Especially but going downhill. My main reason for finishing was, was that I never wanted to do it again. And if I failed, I would have had to do it again. That's you. That's so you. <laughs> so... The 100 kilometer race is done and now I am just maintaining fitness. So back, back to slow running, walking, running. It's very hot and humid here at the moment. So whatever works uh, for you, if, even if it's walking every day, I get out for half an hour and jog. Maintenance is the, is the most important thing so jogging for five kilometers every day occasionally up to 10 during the week I haven't got anything uh, any race for this year but my next goal is the polar marathon which is next October because I was too late for en to enter it this year a brief outline of my fitness is regular exercise at the moment I'm maintaining at five kilometers a day and that just takes me half an hour 36 minutes it's hot and humid horrible outside at the moment so just getting out there and getting it done is really it's not the end of the world and it does make me feel better in fact I get quite grumpy if I don't get out and do it um, as far as health goes I'm not the healthiest person I do eat some bad things at the weekend I am pretty religious about eating healthily during the week so here in Dubai, our week is Sunday to Thursday, and I'm getting a lot of attention from Maple. Um, so no sugar during the week, and that means no chocolate, no nothing naughty at all. So green stuff, very little meat, and generally healthy living. Like most people, I never had a weight issue 
until, I don't know, late 20s probably, I could eat anything I wanted, and that was all well and good. But then you get to an age where you can put on a bit of weight if you don't watch it. I found the easiest way to keep my weight down was to drink Diet Pepsi. I started off in the morning drinking Diet Pepsi and I went to bed drinking Diet Pepsi. That was not the healthiest uh, move, but I still love Diet Pepsi. I was hypnotized at one point to go off it and I went off for about six months and I have cheated a little bit recently. As I said, I'm not the healthiest person, but uh, what can I say? It's what I do. The good thing about being 50 plus is that I have tried most of the fad diets out there, not all of them probably, but most of them, and I know what works for me. When you get to 50 plus, you know what works for you. So it is possible to change in your 50s, but you've got to be able to maintain it. Be happy and maintain it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. There are many videos to come.